everyone. And, and this portfolio is, is our thought for today from BBC. And we're, we're calling our, our thought for today, God's will is good. And we're taking this from a passage in Romans chapter 12 and the first two verses, one and two. And, and we're just going to read the, these verses before we, we start this little thought. It says, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. Now folks, I don't need to tell you the days that we're living in or you know, the questions that many of us may be asking these days, but some of us may be asking, you know, where, where is God in all of what is happening? What, what is he actually doing? If, if God's behind us, what is he doing? And another question we would be asking, like, what, what is God's will? What is God's purpose in all of this? And you know, the truth is that we, we can't answer these questions. We simply are not able to answer these questions. And the other side of it is, you know, it, it's even dangerous to try and answer them, to speculate. And it's very dangerous to, you know, to give in to, to those who are speculating as what God may be doing at this time. And you know, we, we can't even answer the question of, well, what is God's will for us? What is God's will for me? What is going to happen tomorrow? in my life, in your life, next week, next month, next year. These are very uncertain days. We don't know what's going to happen, but in regards to God's will, we, we just are not able to answer that. But as we look at these verses, there is one question that we're definitely able to answer. And that question is, is God's will good or bad? And as we look at these these verses, you know, there's two things that we see in regards to God's will. One is that it's something that is living. It, it's intricately linked to our bodies, to our lives and our bodies. It says, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. So God's will is something that's linked to our lives, our bodies. It's something that is very personal for you and for me. And actually, if it's linked to our lives, it's something that's relevant for this very moment. It was relevant in the past, for the moments in the past, and it would be relevant for the moments in the future. But because my life only exists in this moment, it's relevant for this present moment, this time. And the other thing we see here is that we see there's certain qualifications, or there's certain um, aspects given of what God's will is. And it says that God's will is good, pleasing, and, and perfect. Good, pleasing, and perfect. And you know, we may wonder why we may ask the question, we don't see that in these days. But, you know, as we look further into these scriptures, and we're told that you know, there's a way that we can test and prove to see that God's will actually is good, that it is pleasing, that it is perfect. But to do that, there's something that we first need to do. There's something that we first need to change. There needs to be a transformation. There needs to be a transformation in how we think. And in order to change how we think, there needs to be a renewing of our mind. Now, our mind is an amazing thing. It's, it's, it's that control center of, of our attitudes, thoughts, feelings, actions. It controls everything we do. So how... How do we transform that? How do we change it? How do we go about renewing our minds? Um, you see, we need to do this. God tells us that we need to do this. We need to transform our minds. We need to do this to keep in line with the spiritual transformation that has already taken place in, in our lives. That transformation, that renewal that God did has already done in our lives through Jesus Christ. And you know, as we look at the beginning of this passage here, this is, this is why we said, Paul says, in view of God's mercies, in view of everything that God has already done for us, 
We need to change how we think. We renew our minds. And how do we do it? We renew our minds by spiritual input. Through God's word. Through prayer. Through that intimate communication with God. Through, and through fellowship with other believers. And, and we, we understand that this is something we can't do in this current time. But we need to be in God's word. We need to be spending time in prayer with God. To constantly have that renewing of our minds. And see, we, we transform, we renew our minds so that we can see things from God's perspective. Not from ours, so that we can see things from God's perspective. And, and as we renew our minds and see things from God's perspective, we do this so that we no longer conform to the patterns of this world. And that literally means the patterns of this time. What is happening right at this time? That we don't conform to that. Now to conform, this is a, a personal assimilation or conformity to the examples of this time. And you know, what are the examples of this time? And you know, this is something we're, we're all talking about, we're all hearing, we're all saying. The examples of this time are fear, panic, anxiety, uncertainty, insecurity, and hopelessness. These are the signs, these are the, these are the examples, this is the pattern of the world at this time and we're told not to conform to these things. As God's children we shouldn't and we don't have to conform with this way of thinking. You see, if we are constantly transforming, if we are constantly renewing our minds and allowing it to change how we think, we're going to look at things from a new perspective. We're going to look at things from a perspective that God says His will for us at this time is good, it's pleasing, and it's perfect. What we'll see is that if, if it's good for God, if God says His will for us is good for Him, then it's good for me. If God says it's pleasing to Him, then it's pleasing to me as well. And if it's perfect for God, it has to be perfect for me, and it has to be perfect for this time. See, when we understand and accept it, and accept the, the truth of the, the fact that God's will is good, see, then it turns fear to peace. It changes panic to calm, anxiety to peacefulness, uncertainty to insurance, insecurity to security, and it brings hope to hopelessness. My prayer for all of us, my prayer for myself and for all of us, BBC community and, and beyond, is that we, we are going to be people that in these uncertain days are people who are finding rest and peace as we constantly transform and renew our minds in Jesus Christ and that in these days of fear these days of uncertainty that we can speak from our position we can speak peace love and hope into the chaos of this time